Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys already know who it is. It is Krista Kelly. So today I will be doing a little unboxing on a cat uh, water fountain that I found online. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm a huge bargain shopper. When I first bought this thing, it is $18. Originally this thing is $50. It's BPA free, it has 12 volt for usage, which is very, very low, and it has a charcoal filter that removes bad odor and bad taste from the water. So as I will start this video, it will show you guys how you got, it looks like uh, fully intact, how you guys put it together, and how you guys clean it. So let's get this started. I bought this super awesome pet fountain. It is called the Pet Save. Uh, original pet fountain is obtained about 50 ounces of water. It's not that big. I think it's about this big, honestly. And this is how the box looks like when it's shipped to you or bought in stores. So as you can tell, there's a picture of a dog enjoying the water. Okay, maybe not there yet, but he's almost reaching the water. Here is the water fountain, how it looks like, what's obtained. And of course, that is the charcoal filter if you should know more and here is a picture of a cat licking the top of the water fountain i'm sure why he's not licking at the water it's right down here but you know, some cats are special and here is some information of what the uh fountain can provide for your fur babies and up here it says that it can help urinary and uh kidney diseases, it can speed recovery time for sick and injured pets, and of course help the body with temperature regulation and fat metabolism. Is that all true? Probably not, but I mean, I got it because it, ha it might help prevent urinary and kidney disease. And plus it's BPA free. Okay guys, so as you see here is my pet cat Max right here as you might have seen in other videos. Here I have placed a mat to soak up all the water being splashed out by the machine or by my cat since he likes to play and mess with the water at times. It would be best if you can uh, buy a waterproof mat for this fountain in order to protect your floors or carpet if you know your cat and or your dog are a messy drinker or they like tend to mess around with it. I, my cat doesn't really usually uh, splatter or spill the water out of the fountain. You can't really tip it over unless your cat or your dog just like full on ran into the fountain to intentionally knock it over. Other than that, my cat does a great job on not spilling too much water outside of the fountain. So I just bought a regular mat for this occasion. So after unboxing your pet fountain, it is recommended that you soak it into the water for 10 minutes and in that water it should be at least 80% water and 20% vinegar uh, in warm water. And after that you wash it by hand so it's not dishwasher safe at all um, with soap and water, warm water of course. And it's a little bit tedious to wash the pump since you know a lot of junk can build up inside the pre-pump. But overall, it's an easy clean. I did not buy an actual brush for this one, so it was a little bit tedious to wash every uh, narrow uh, spot of the housing bin and all that. So this right here is the pre-filter. Underneath the pre-filter has three suction cups uh, that will grip onto the base of the pet fountain. As you put it down, there is a wire where you need to adjust it to push it in inward instead of having it hitting against the housing bin. Uh, as you put that in already and adjust the wire, you put the uh, housing bin over it. That is where the charcoal filter is located. This right here is the charcoal filter. Uh, before you put it in, the charcoal filter is recommended that you rinse it off before you put it in because it might have any charcoal um, residue or powder uh, uh, outside of the packaging. As you put it in, put the top lid over it and you're ready to use it. Plug it in and start pouring the water in to see if everything functioned correctly. It takes a while for the water to circulate up into the filter and into the uh, charcoal bin and coming out to the uh, lid. So don't worry about that. After that, everything's good and it's ready to go. Okay, so overall, this pet fountain has a very clean look to it. It is very hard to clean at first if you 
guys are not used to it, it is easier for you to put it into the water, which is 80% water and 20% vinegar. Soak it in for 10 minutes. But other than that, if you guys have any issues like I had when I first set it up, I had a vibrating noise because the wire of the filter was hitting against the wall. All you have to do is just push it in, readjust the wire, and you won't hear it anymore. The water spell sound will always gonna be there. So if that's something you guys don't like, it's probably not for you. Uh, my cat totally loves this thing and always use it. He always uses it to drink, of course, and to clean his little paws in. So thank you so much for watching this re review over the unboxing of the Pet Safe uh, Drinkwell Original Pet Fountain. See you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And leave a thumbs up if you guys liked it. Subscribe for more videos, of course. And leave some comments below. See you guys next time. Bye!